<clears throat> Hi, I'm Jean Ponder Soto, and I am faculty for the Kepiak Institute. This brief video is to cover the highlights of the Christian Formation Program, class number three, which is titled Tradition, Passing on the Faith. Just exactly what do we mean when we say tradition? Maybe it would help if I said what tradition is not. These are not musty thoughts that have been put away in a closet that we try to uh, hand on. Instead, it is the living faith that we have as disciples of Jesus in community and in dialogue with the world. And we want to pass this living faith on from generation to generation. Uh, the Catholic uh, handbook defines tradition as the beliefs, the doctrines, the rituals, and the sacred text in the church, which we pass on to the next generation. It's interesting to note that our tradition did not begin with the written word. Instead, our tradition begins uh, with the passing on of the life, the death, the wonderful works of Jesus, his teachings, the account of his resurrection, and the sending of the Spirit, the formation of a community of which we are the descendants today. Tradition involves these core events in the life of Jesus and that we find in the gospel and as circulated among the early Christian communities in the form of the, of the letters. It's important to notice that tradition is not the same as traditionalism. Traditionalism appears when there is a greater emphasis on the details of our living faith rather than the core content of our gospel. And sometimes traditionalism takes the form of thinking that uh, dress has to be exactly some way or a ritual has to be exactly some way or somehow it's not authentic. And I think we would all recognize that that's not what we're trying to pass down to the next generation. Instead, we're trying to pass down what it means to live a life in communion with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit following Jesus and being in community with one another and being able then to share this life of faith and hope and love with others. One of the questions that we need to ask then as we want to pass this faith on is what are the opportunities that we have for today to pass on the faith? How can we build Christian community today? How do we show what it means to be a disciple of Jesus? And one of the ways that we do this is by looking at the signs of the times and the opportunities that we have to share our faith. Some new ones that have appeared are social media, uh, all of the wonderful ways of communicating that we didn't have uh, even 15 or 20 years ago. I believe that we are being invited to use these forms as a way of passing our tradition down, as well as face-to-face -face and the written word. Let me just leave you with this thought uh, about some definitions of tradition. This is from blessed Pope John the 23rd. The deposit of the faith is the same. In other words, what we believe is always the same. But the way in which we communicate it is different. Here's another one. Tradition is the living faith of the dead. Traditionalism is the dead faith of the living. Here's another. Tradition is not the worship of ashes, but it's the preservation of fire. And that's what we mean by tradition. We want to pass to the next generation the fire that animates our own life and has animated the life of the Christian tradition since Jesus first became uh, our brother and showed us how to be in communion with one another and with the Father through the Holy Spirit. 